Perhaps in the future, this is what war will be like. Two tones of awesomeness. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. Welcome back to Dayton Dissects, and a game that is called Luftrausus. Published by Devolver Digital, who is definitely one of my favorite game publishers. They do the sweetest indie games, arcade kind of style, retro. Oh, I will say right now that I loofed this game, and it arouses me very much. <laughs> it's not so much a flight simulation so much as a bullet hell asteroids with gravity enabled. Uh, it's sort of a roguelike. I mean, there's progress to be had, but you do only get one shot, and you stay on the same screen. Oh, wow. There's a white circle around me that represents my health, and when it completely closes in, I will drop dead. You can customize your ship, the weapon, the thrusters, as well as the body of the ship, and they all affect the gameplay massively, which I think is completely awesome. You can kind of change your ship to match your style. I do crash into a lot of ships. I was trying the melee ship for a while because it, it doesn't take a, any damage when you crash into stuff. But I found that more health is probably my style because I also take a lot of bullets. <laughs> oh, gonna die. Damn. <laughs> You have to complete um, missions in order to get skulls. There are multiple different missions, such as kill a ship at max uh, combo or whatever. Kill an ace pilot. Right now I have to kill a blimp in order to unlock my next missions. But I don't believe I've seen one yet, so maybe that's a problem with the game. <laughs> I'm not sure where I should be looking. I generally spend time lower. Maybe I'm supposed to be like high up. Or maybe the blimp is like that big boss thing I've seen before and was never able to kill because I'm terrible at this game. I've only played it for a couple of hours, but I've unlocked a considerable amount. I'll definitely show you guys the upgrades. Zoop, zoop! I really like how gravity affects your ship. You can kind of just fling yourself this way and nail the enemy. And accelerating the top speed within a second is massively... I think it's basically what makes the game as good as it is. The control scheme's a little weird. It does take some getting used to. You'll only thrust if you're pointing towards... If you move your controller towards, like, the top axis. The top four directions or whatever. If you're pointing down, it won't make you thrust, which I guess makes sense. And you keep moving, so if I hold right, it just does, like, that free falling kind of thing. Which, I don't know, maybe it's useful. Woo! <laughs> I have a lot of fun with this game. I'll admit that, um... There are Rousers who are better than me. That's us and me! But that's okay. Because I think the whole point of video games is, uh, having fun. Have a little fun. Maybe. If you feel like it. You should. Unless you're, like, weird or something. You're not weird, are ya? Oh, destroying these ships. I need to kill something to so keep my combo meter up. It goes away pretty quick. Which makes me sad. 
It really helps to line your enemies up behind you and then just let loose on them. But it's hard to do that because the combo meter goes away so quickly. Then again, if the game were easy, it wouldn't be much of a challenge or a game. Now would it? Oh, that ace pilot's gonna get me. Ooh, get out of the bullets! It's a stream of bullets! Oh my god. <laughs> Kamikaze bomb. Perhaps in the future, this is what war will be like. Two tones of awesomeness. Uh oh. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh my god. Those battleships do some massive damage. Those bullets seem a bit more dangerous than the rest for some reason. Because it's artillery fire! Oh my god. Now there's artillery fire coming from the top. Oh wow. That's a blimp. Okay. I think it's a blimp. I'm not really sure. That's also a problem with retro graphics, is you kind of got to get used to uh, seeing things <laughs> before you know what they are. Did I wreck it? Zap it, zap it, zap it. Frank Zappa. Ooh! Ooh! Oh. The game is just, like, so intense. I have missiles beyond missiles following me. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Bullet hell. Oh, no. Oh. So, this is the customization hangar. You can... Customize your body, engine, and your gun. Right now I have a versatile machine gun, a beam weapon laser, a shotgun shell, spread shot, and homing missiles. I've got the original good all-around body, a more health body called the Tupa Rouser. The Hell Rouser is a melee body that takes no impact damage but has less health. Danger zone, uh, oh I have to show you this. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. You explode when you die. And you do more impact damage. Um, and then I also have the Super Boost Engine. It's probably my favorite. But it uh, isn't as fast on the turns. The good all-around engine is nice. The Gungeon's really interesting. You propel using bullets. Um, I guess I'll, I'll demonstrate. Why not? Oh, so I did destroy a blimp. So now my objectives are to kill two battleships in one game, kill five battleships in total, and kill a jet at max combo. And I will get more skulls, which will unlock more parts. <laughs> so this engine is definitely not as effective. Oh, I changed to the missiles too. Okay, so I've got a completely different setup that I need to be aware of. <laughs> yeah! Now that's a combo. Alright. The homing missiles are pretty cool. You just have to... Wow. Be aware that you can only have four on the screen. Wow! I got the skull for killing two battleships in one game. Oh, we unlocked the underwater... Uh, engine I believe it is. No water damage, more top cloud damage, slower acceleration. We'll go ahead and try that one. I do find myself underwater quite often. I'll switch back to the Tupa Rousa. Piranha. Oh, the name changes as you change the weapon and the engine and such. I think that's pretty awesome. It was the Tupa Rouser with the awesome engine, but with the underwater engine, it's called the Humpback. 
And that also changes the music behind the game as well. So there is a lot of customization to be had. Gotta kill another blimp. Woo! I like how it looks like a propeller. Do 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 do. <laughs> so we do have to kill a blimp, but with this body, I'm sure I'm gonna find myself hanging out near the water. <laughs> I can shoot a beam out of the water. Oh, it's awesome. Uh oh. Caught myself up on the ship there. Woo! It just feels really good to destroy a ship with your ship. I am the superior Rouser! Score over 8,000 because I'm sitting at max combo. So yeah, it took me a second to get into the groove again, but wow, 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 wow. As soon as I start bragging, I die every time. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. Pride's a deadly sin or something like that. So I might even beat my top score. Which will bring me to my next point. Which is the top scoring system. One of the things I love most about this game is that there are global high scores. Which will keep you playing this game absolutely forever. <laughs> you think you're going to beat that guy with, like, whatever, 17 million on Steam? I don't. <laughs> I didn't even beat my top score. So these are my stats. Killed a lot of boats, planes, whatever. Oh, that's in the last round, and then they have the totals, which is awesome. I've never killed a submarine. Yep, haven't done it. Retrieving high score from Steam Network. Look at that! Oh my God! It's one trillion four hundred and ten billion sixty-five thousand four hundred and seven. If you could beat that, you could be on the top of the Steam leaderboards, everyone. My god. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. I'll go back to the hangar and change myself back into the Tuberousa. Because I find that being underwater doesn't really help me that much. As I can't see the plane or anything. And I also have to kill a blimp. There's so many blimps to be killed. I think you have to last long enough for the blimps to come, which I generally don't because I'm firing my weapon continuously. Ugh. Yeah, you're supposed to kind of let yourself regenerate and whatnot. Well, what's the fun in that? Then I'm not killing things. My combo goes away. You understand? It's difficult. Quite a conundrum we find ourselves in. Woo. Whoop, 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 whoop. You do turn slower while using the laser, which is, I guess, to compensate for how badassly awesome it is. Oh, there's an ace pilot. Yeah, he's an ace hole. So, this has been Luftrousers, everyone, and another Dayton Dissect. I did hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me for whatever we decide to do next. Until next time, bye bye